Hey, what is going on guys? It is Farah. Welcome back. Um, I hope the audio is better today. Um, I'm trying to make it better. I know it's been bad, uh, so sorry about that again. Um, so yeah, we're back here. We did the two summoning videos uh, for this little Zerath series here before. Um, there's not much to say, I guess. I mean, I guess I've gotten a lot done since that point. We can pop into here. I'm at level 44, so I've got 15 saved up. Again, we're just waiting for level 50 so we can instantly get the attack speed, crit damage, this stuff all uh, maxed out instantly, and then we'll go into attack power for whatever we want to do there. So, uh, yep, the profile here we can hop into <clears throat> 16 days into the account. I was able to clear TOA normal. We'll check that team in a minute. I've got a B in World Boss, which is nice. Um, haven't done really anything in the Second Awakening dungeons. Haven't tried the Rift uh, Rift Beasts yet, or Rift Raid. Uh, there really hasn't been a reason to, um, because I wouldn't be able to do R4 or R5. And um, the Beasts, I don't have the Twins, and I don't have a build for Perna. I'd like to build, build Mav. Um, my runes on uh, Naomi are pretty questionable. Um, Crow's rune, Crow needs better runes too. There's a lot of runes that need to be in, uh, made better and uh, units that need to be built. So, Embusted doesn't build. So, there's a bunch of different things there for Rift Beasts that it's just not ready to happen yet. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll pop into TOA here. I beat TOA 100 with this team. So we do have the guy this time. Um, I would say he's definitely easier than the girl. Um, I actually killed the right tower, and then I killed the left tower, and then I killed him. I guess I could have just gone straight boss, too. Um, uh, yeah, but I just decided to kill the, the attack bar pushing one, and then... Um, Maybe the one on the left kind of just died on its own from the AoE damage that Veramos is putting out, but uh, yeah, this is the team. Um, <clears throat> I have other units I can build too. I have, uh, I could build Hemos if I wanted to, I could second awaken him next. Um, that's sort of a question about who I who I go for next. Um, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, that's the team. Uh, Lapis is on the basic vampire set, vampire revenge. Vero is on rage blade. Uh, these runes are nice. These are nice runes here. Um, this is a three star, a four star, and this one is um, okay. Uh, the attack percentage doesn't do that much for him, but it's kind of all usable stats, so at least that's good. Um, I don't have any artifacts yet. No, I haven't done like the first stage. I should definitely do that and get vanilla artifacts to upgrade to at least get some, some extra uh, stats in there to help the units. Uh, Crow is on the free um, Fatal Blade set. There's not much more to say. Like, every person in the game gets this set. Lauren is on the Swift one of the Swift Energy sets. I think this is for beating... I think this might be for beating Giants B10 through the quest line. Um... Yeah, I think that's where those are from, but they're not even maxed, so that's whatever. Um, <clears throat> Lulu is on the Violent Will set that uh, you get for free. Um, yeah, a lot of just free runes here are pushing me through most of the progression, so yeah. Um, in terms of strategy, there really wasn't one. Um, I actually autoed this without looking at it on my second try the first time uh, Vero died, so I just canceled it, canceled it out, restarted it, and I was like, all right, I'll get back to the phone in a minute and try to do the third wave myself, and then I, I waited too long, and I came back and I cleared it, so um, if you guys are having trouble here, you can either kill the, the Verds first if you want, or you can kill the Leo. Um, I mean, if this team can all literally auto it, I think you guys will find a strategy that works for your particular team it, if you're manualing it. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, so... Yeah, but he's easy. There's, you know, you could just go straight for him and not worry about the side crystals either. 
Uh, we're working into hard now. I've done 30. I'm not stuck. I just haven't continued to move up the chain here. Um, I'll actually throw on a Giants Abyss hard thing here, and we can watch this run too. Extremely basic team. I mean, four... Okay, so three, three stars. Crow is, Crow is literally given to you. Shannon is literally given to you in the quest lines. Same, you know, Crow and Shannon are, they, they are given to you Awaken. Bella is a farmable. Naomi, you just, Naomi you can actually buy from the arena shop. I think we'll check after this run. And then Vero, I mean, you have the fusion support event and the beginner stuff. You could actually just get the three, the three four stars from if you wanted. Um, and just do him right away. Um, so, yeah, it's not, you know, even if you have to get the three stars, I think he's 100% farmable now. Maybe there's still one three star you have to just summon, but I, I think he's completely farmable now, so that is good. Um, second Awaken, Crow, and Naomi, they are my first two second Awakens. I might have enough energy to do one right now to like 95 to 100 percent almost complete one with the energy that i have right now um so um yeah i'm not sure what to do uh i think spectra is definitely a reasonable one he would help a lot with toa i think lulu is reasonable i think shannon or bella since they're literally in this team are reasonable however i'm having zero problems at all they're they're not dying Shannon and, and Bella really aren't dying. I've only failed two runs, um, or one run. I should have failed two. Uh, Shannon survived with like a thousand or two thousand HP and was able to kill the boss. Um, so it probably should have been two fails. I think it's about a 95% team maybe. Maybe about that. I think that seems that seems right. I would I would say uh, maybe failing one out of 20 runs. Um, but yeah, yeah, it should be it should be a higher percentage than that. Uh, Bella did die there. Crow did die. Crow is actually dying too early. He's oftentimes dying right at the start of the the stage here. Um, so yeah, I need to get some more uh, HP on Crow, more damage and more effective health. So that'll just happen over time as I farm runes from here. That'll happen. So. This should be a simple enough finish. Awesome. So that's that team there, but yeah, typically Bella doesn't die. Typically Crow does actually die, though. Crow dies almost every time, so that does that needs to be looked into, um, and I need to to fix that up. Um, still haven't burnt. Still haven't built Perna. Haven't built Zerath yet. Um, I had to do this for something. I don't know why that's on there. I think I had to apply a swift effect to something for the uh, progression, whatever uh, Summoner's Way thing. I built up Lynn and put some raid runes on her. They aren't great. Uh, they're somewhere else now, dispersed onto other units. Um, but once I'm able to get the runes for her, the raid runes for her, uh, that'll be awesome. I'll be able to get her up and running and that should help increase the speed of the giants runs or should make it faster i also built up a shin uh a miho a an an a sheer and a sigmaris so i'm not sure if i'm going to six star any of them yet um still looking for that talia to play her with to pair with uh sabrina um i do have some summons here there is actually a summon for Lucian, and I have 10. Well, I'm one piece away, so once I do stage 31 of TOA hard, I'll be able to have 10 of them. And I will 100% be going for Lucian if we don't get him in like four scrolls, so probably, probably gonna have to go for him there. Um, obviously, LD Lightning would be awesome. I mean, you know, I don't think I have to explain too much more there. 
There's one way to get a Bella too. We can pop some Legendary Scroll here. Hopefully Talia or Lucian would be um, awesome. But I think he's new. I think he's new at least. So from here, I mean like Rika or Varad, I think are probably... I think that would probably be the best, but... Okay. I think Nana probably would have been a lot better, but... Okay, increases HP of all monsters in guild battles, increases the damage by 10% each up to 200% whenever an ally attacks an enemy. The damage cannot be increased above 50% at once. In addition, decreases the damage taken from the enemy by 20%. So, it's increasing her damage or her team's damage. Um, does the AoE decrease defense and then does the uh, attack power break? I'm gonna have to get some clarification on this. If this is um, if this increases the entire team's damage, then I feel like she'd be really good for like rift beasts um, or giants. But I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I think. Um, yeah. I mean, at this point in the game, I just have to sit back and grind uh, giants as much as I possibly can. Um, I think I'm done six-starring things for a couple days. Um, I really do need to pick up a a water twin. Um, I might do one of these. We'll do one of these for fun. Yeah. Um, I've gotten every three star already too, so um, that's nice. At least for fusions, I have at least one copy of everything that I should need. So, um, yeah. But really, it's just like tell the illusion. That's all that I'm waiting for on this account at this point. Um, in terms of being able to start um, doing rift beasts, uh, and then make the selection for the other one from the beginner event so yeah uh, that's all for this one um as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see everybody in the next video